All right, so in the next one, we have f a g of x. So last time we did addition, and then we did subtraction, combining like terms and finally domain. Now we have f g of x, which is basically just telling us to multiply f of x times g of x. Yes? No, we're going to get to that next, or after the next one. So when they're just next to each other, that's multiplication. Okay. So all I'm simply going to do is I like to always put parentheses to just kind of remind myself that. And then I have x squared plus 1. Now, obviously, I can apply distributive property. And some of you guys are going to have different ways you can simplify. But basically, remember, if you have a fraction times a whole um, fraction times um, an integer, you know, rewrite in both as fractions, multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. In this case, I can simplify. Um, but my main thing is going to be looking for the domain. So now I'm looking at the product. Again, the domain. What values can I not plug in? Well, again, nothing has really changed with mine. I still cannot plug in any number that's less than 1. right? Well, or zero, 0 won't work, but it has to be greater than or equal to 1. So my domain is from 1 to infinity. Okay, So you're, look for your domain. Sometimes the domain is not going to change. Sometimes the domain is going to change all right, based on what type of problems you guys have. Then let's evaluate for 0. Again, all I need to do here is plug in my value. <laughs> well, what's wrong about what? Well, 0 minus 1 is going to give me the square root of negative 1 times 0 squared, which is 0 plus 1. So therefore, I'm left with the square root of negative 1. If we were talking about imaginary numbers, you could say that's i. But if we're just talking about real solutions, domain, real solutions, we just, you know, um, it's just not going to have any real solution to it. There's no real value. It's an imaginary value. It's i. Okay? So if you have something like that where you have i or it's undefined, then you guys can write that in. 